What's up, legends? Welcome back to episode two of our Bibbleman prep series. Here with Macca, Mackenzie Bergon, my man. We've got some ruse here as well, seeing us off at Donnelly River. We're doing 150 kilometers on the bib over the next four or so days. Uh, more of a bigger, longer test run for our end-to-end -end in September. Today we've got 40... 40 k's heading to bailing up. Bailing up today, 40 kilometers, which will be, it'll be a good test. Um, test the gear, test the food, test the sleep situation. <laughs> and uh, should be good. Let's rock and roll, baby. Into the forest, baby. This is going to be a beautiful day of hiking. All right, we're two hours into our first day. Smashed about 10 kilometers out. It is so stunning here. Absolutely beautiful, as we're expecting. Um, super green. We're onto some, some wicked single track at the moment. But um, the trail has been in great condition so far. We are probably around 10 kilometers from the next hut, if our calculations are correct, which is where we'll take our first break. But um, it's going so well. Alrighty, we've crossed the four hour point in the day, which is roughly halfway um, at our current pace. As we said, hoping for 40 kilometers today. We just passed, what was the hut called, Mackenzie? No idea, Gregory. Gregory hut, I think, um, which is cool. We met a few people there. I've actually crossed paths with a few people today in the bib. Lots of end-to-enders, which is really exciting. Sharing their words of wisdom. One of which was that there is a mice infestation at the next hut where we're sleeping tonight. And uh, you'll lose your food and you'll lose anything you keep out. So that's good to know. Um, <laughs> a couple were saying that they had mouse, uh, mice crawling all over them last night when they were sleeping. And um, neither me and Mackenzie want that. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try and secure ourselves when we get to the hut tonight. But apparently there's a big ass hill and a bit more hiking to do before we get there. So stay tuned, well on our way. Just hit the 30 kilometer mark, first day on the bib. We may or may not have just taken about a 4K detour. Um, <laughs> we did, and it <laughs> sucked. Uh, but we're about 13 kilometers from Blackwood Campsite, which is our site tonight. Um, definitely gonna get there a bit later than we hoped due to the detour, um, but still gunning for a little smidge of light um, to set up camp for the night. Either way, we're gonna power through. It is so stunning through here. And uh, every hiker we've passed so far said that this next campsite is a highlight. So we're pumped. Even if we don't get a sunset, sunrise tomorrow will be sick. Um, but we're gonna power through trees all over the trail. Forty kilometers. We're just crossing over the Blackwood River. Absolutely stunning. I've been saying that all day, but it continues to be. Uh, due to our detour, we are still a little ways away uh, from our campsite tonight. Looking to get there after sunset. Uh, but yeah, probably only 30, 40 minutes away, I think. 30. 30, 30 minutes away. Bloody oath. We're pretty keen to get set up tonight. We're both feeling pretty good though. Um, super keen for tomorrow and hopefully we'll get a banging sunrise because we will miss the sunset, but it's all good. Our final climb for the day. Big hill in front of us. And we've made it to camp. Just walked through a um, little homestead. Puppies, horses everywhere. Not a bad way to end the day. Hype us up for this big climb. Almost there, baby. Yeah. 
We well, made it to the campsite. Mackenzie's pumping up a fire. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. We are just cooking up a feed for tonight. Trying out the backcountry cuisine. Mackenzie's got Mexican chicken. I got beef teriyaki. Uh, all you do is you boil some water and you pour it in and let it sit for a little while. So we'll get back to you on how that tastes. But I'm um, super keen to set up camp in this beautiful hut. You guys can't see it, or well, you kind of can, but um, <clears throat> this view is insane. We were looking at it as the sun was setting on the way to the hut, and we are super keen for sunrise in the morning. All right, we're heading to bed. Fire's dying out. It's been bloody good having a fire. This is my uh, sleep setup for the night. So, got the bug net out for the bugs, obviously. I'm using this Kathmandu uh, little mattress which is really light and has been pretty good to me got my uh, sleeping bag from outfitted and currently using all my clothes stuffed into my sleeping bag cover as a pillow um, pretty decent little setup me and Mackenzie have the entire hut to ourselves tonight Mackenzie got a pretty sick little setup as well we'll see you guys in the morning good morning from Blackwood campsite we've decided to uh, depart well before sunrise as it's going to be a rainy, rainy day today. <laughs> and we want to try and beat as much of it as we can. We are heading into bailing up for lunch, ideally. Um, yeah, we're starting around 6 a.m. this morning. The rain starts 10 or 11, although the clouds are definitely out already. So we're going to basically hustle this morning, try and get to bailing up before getting too wet, have a feed, and then just see what happens for the rest of the day. But there's 40 k's ahead of us. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do this then. Alrighty, we just left bailing up. Had a bloody wicked feed. Big ass sausage roll and pie each. And a coffee. We are on the road to Grimwade Hut. That's it. Grimwade. So about 22 k's left on the day. The rain's supposed to start very soon. We're hoping to get lucky and not get too wet. Um, but we've been saying that all day. So far, so good. So far, so good. Probably four or five hours and then we're in for the night. Should get there pretty early. Hopefully get a fire going and crossing the river here. So beautiful. So is the scenery. Just past the 30K mark on day two. This is why we get lost, people. This tree has fallen over, so it looks like the uh, the track goes right, but it actually goes pretty much straight ahead slash left. <laughs> uh, nothing you can do about that, though. Trees do fall over occasionally. We are very, very close to our campsite for the day. Gonna get in real early, which we're excited about. And we've been blessed, Mackenzie. No rain, baby, <laughs> somehow. Somehow there was no rain. We were forecasted rain all day and uh, we've dodged it. Fire maniacs at it again. Huh? The rain has just started. <laughs> we've dodged it all day. We get to the hut and it starts. Hashtag blessed. We're going to set up camp here and enjoy the afternoon, have a good feed. We're aiming for a big day tomorrow. We're going to push the limits. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. back on the trail this morning we had a nice afternoon in last night but we're up for 5 30 big day ahead of us we've got another hour or so in the dark and then we'll back be back to day hiking 
keep you guys in the loop. Made it to Nogara Hut. We're just passing through this one today. About 22 kilometers in to day three of our hike. We're aiming to actually push through and finish today. This wasn't the original plan, but uh, we think we've got it in us. Uh, should be a good training day. Try and get all the way to Collie. But we're gonna just have a break, get changed, have a little bit of a feed. This hut is really nice. Maybe we'll stay in it on the end to end. We'll see. Beautiful. We are on our way down to Mumbalup, which will be our next little rest point. And these are the views we got coming down this gravel road. Freaking stunning. It's been an unreal time so far. I think we're both feeling it a little bit today on day three, but um, definitely, definitely good to finish off the day strong. It's looking like we'll end up doing about 55 kilometers today and um, finish up, so. We'll keep updating now, but um, yeah, we're trotting along. Just past the marathon point of the day. If I haven't mentioned it already, we have decided to push through and finish our hike on day three. Test ourselves a little bit and uh, avoid as much of this rain as possible, which we've been doing a great job of so far, as you guys know. Um, but that'll end up being about 57 kilometers today. Big day, but uh, only a couple more hours. And from what we hear, it's a lot of downhill all the way to Collie, baby. So we're pretty stoked. Excited to uh, finish this epic three-day adventure. Alrighty, finished. Day three in the bib. What's that total? 140, oh, too almost 140 Ks total. We hit close to 60 today to finish her off strong. How you feeling, mate? Bloody brilliant. Brilliant, as always. Stoked with this one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are attempting the end to end at the end of the year in September, so. Stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching again, guys. Subscribe if you are interested in following along and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.